you're going to find that when you start to reach a point where you have a sense of self-worth, where you bring lots of value because you don't need validation from others, you're going to get women pretty easy. But here's the beautiful thing. As you like yourself more and more and love yourself more and more, you're going to start to realize that more and more confident women show up in your life because that's the one thing I noticed. So I have a question for you. What is it that you really want when you say you want a lot of women in your life? You want a lot of sex, you want to date a lot, you want to meet a lot of women. What is it that you're really looking for? And I'm going to challenge you here for a minute because a lot of guys say, I just want to have sex. I just want to get laid. I just want to meet a hot girlfriend. What you're really looking for and the thing that's keeping you from getting the very thing that you want is that you want to learn to like yourself better. You want to learn to love yourself, like yourself, build your self-esteem, have a sense of self-worth, something in that area. Because what's really happening here is that you are probably chasing women, and hear me out here, you're probably chasing women to get a sense of validation. You know, every time you get a woman to tell you that she likes you, you feel good about yourself, right? But then suddenly you're alone and you're hanging out with yourself and you don't feel so good. You see, I used to not have women in my life at all, and I worked really hard to get women. So I was kind of used to being alone. I was a little apathetic. But as I started to get women, I started to get excited. I started to get turned on. I get a woman here, I get a woman there. Not exactly what I wanted. A lot of them were where I was at. I was meeting women where I was at. I had low self-esteem, so I was meeting some low self-esteem girl, but I was starting to date. I was starting to get regular sex. And what I found was when I had a woman over, I was much happier at that day, the next day or that day than when I didn't. And if I didn't have a woman over, I kind of got depressed. I kind of got sad. Matter of fact, I remember when that realization really hit me. I'd reached a point where I was actually pretty good and I had a lot of women I was dating. I'd state pump myself, I'd push myself, I'd force myself and I had these different girls that I was dating different nights of the week. And one night I didn't have a girl to come over and I wasn't hanging out with anybody and I tried to call a few and they weren't available and I stopped for a minute and I said, how do I feel if I don't bring a woman over tonight? How would I feel if there's no woman in my life? And I realized that I felt like shit that I was depressed, that I didn't like myself. And that's the truth. That the truth was that I was getting all of these girls to avoid how I really felt about myself. What I really wanted from these women was to feel as valuable as I projected them feeling or being in the world. You see, I saw them as hot, hot young thing, a hot pretty girl. So the world gives them all this value, right? And I wanted that, a taste of that value. And by having them on my arm, I felt really good about myself. But the reality was I needed them on my arm to feel that good. But you can change that. What if you started to feel just as valuable as a beautiful woman? What if you started to feel important? What if you started to feel like a man that brings just as much value as she brings? Matter of fact, you're going to find that when you start to reach a point where you have a sense of self-worth, where you bring lots of value because you don't need validation from others, you're going to get women pretty easy. But here's the beautiful thing. As you like yourself more and more and love yourself more and more, you're going to start to realize that more and more confident women show up in your life because that's the one thing I noticed. You see, shortly after that experience I had where I had realized that I wasn't happy without women, I decided to take a hiatus from dating women. I took about four months or so off and I actually started to learn to date myself and I worked exclusively on liking myself, seeing myself as having a sense of value in the world, bringing value to women just as, and feeling valuable first and then bring, and giving that value away versus trying to get value from them. And what ended up happening was kind of miraculous because when I went back to dating, at first I was like, I was comfortable. I didn't even need to date. I was like, I'm pretty happy now. And then when I started dating, the women I started to date were so much more giving. As I became more giving, more loving, they became more giving and loving. And I started to meet these amazing women in my life. I started to become happier and happier. And I realized that I saw women before that as kind of a pain in the ass, but I needed them to feel good about myself. They were difficult, they had emotional problems, but in reality, they were a reflection of me. And when I started to love myself more, like myself more, become happier with myself, the women in my life started to change. They started to become more confident, more solid. They had a sense of self-worth and they started to become more giving. And it was awesome. And really every woman I've dated since then has become so much more powerful and so much more confident because I'm continually working on my self-esteem. This is why we like to say only the confident really live. So I'm going to encourage you to go out there and work on your confidence, work on your self-esteem, your self-worth. You know, I don't say use affirmations a lot because I don't like them. I really love the really revealing process, but 
there is a power in an affirmation if you don't try to jam it into your brain, if you play with it and have fun with it. So start working on statements for yourself. And then if you know how to do revealing or releasing, start using releasing with it to let go of all the stories that come up around it. But come up with something that's fun. I used to like to say I'm a sexy bastard. Women love chasing me. Stuff that made me smile inside. And I would set a goal like that as I, I feel like a sexy bastard. I would just play with it every day, like a little prescription for my soul, for my subconscious. And I would say it in a relaxed way. I wouldn't force it, wouldn't try to jam it, wouldn't try to make anything happen. It's like planting a seed and letting it grow over time. And then I would release on you the stories that come up. If there was a story or, uh, about self-doubt or I'm not a sexy bastard, no woman would like me, I start letting those stories go a little bit at a time. And that's where getting the Revealing Process Masterclass can be so powerful in helping you to process deep embedded emotions that might be coming up with it. And not only did this change my relationships to women, it made me happier day to day, changed my relationships with family members, changed my relationships with friends, because I started to become a happier human being in general. I didn't need the women to tell me I was good enough. I was just good enough. And honestly, you are. You're good enough just by the nature of being alive. You're a human being, you have value. And trust me, men bring a lot of value to women, not just money. Women love being with men. They love having sex with men. They love holding men. They love feeling men be around them and be masculine with them. It's a huge, huge thing for them. And if you start to realize that and you start to look around and see that in the world, see how men really do bring a lot of value to women. And it's not all just about money. It goes way beyond that. You'll start to realize more and more that women really, there are tons of women out there that really appreciate you for being masculine, for being a man. And if you start looking for those women and let go of the ones that are maybe bitter or angry at men and start keep looking for women that really care about men, you're going to find that there's a whole nother world that's beautiful. And that will also help to grow your self-esteem. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. I want you to comment in the video below if you come up with any fun little affirmations or sayings that you would like to say to yourself, you know, your own little prescription for the soul, put it in the video. I want to hear what it is. Make sure to like the video, subscribe, and uh, check out the Revealing Process Masterclass if you haven't seen it. It's awesome. And remember... Only the confident really live. Have a beautiful day and I'll see you in the next video.